Here's my Kam Hyung crab. Cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. Today I'm going to show a very uh, popular way of cooking crab in Malaysia restaurant called Kam Hyung. Uh, Kam Hyung crab, okay? Kam Hyung crab. I don't know what's the direct translation. Okay, basically Hyung meaning fragrance. Okay. Now uh, these are the, I have uh, three uh, flower crab here. You can use the normal mud crab as well. Okay, but I'm using flower crab today. So uh, the first thing to do is we need to uh, deep fry the flower crab, and you cut you cut them into uh, bite sizes. And then you um, apply a little bit of flour or cornstarch on it, cornstarch powder. Then we fry it, okay? Fry it to about uh, 70 80 percent uh, cook. Then only we continue to stir fry with the ingredient. And these are the ingredients for the Kam Hyung flavor. Um, you need some chili putty, okay? There's about two, ch two chili putty here. So, and about one centimeter of ginger, uh, four to five cloves of chopped garlic. Uh, this is about two uh, uh, little onions, yeah, red onions. And we have about half cup of curry leaves here. Uh, two to four uh, dried chili washed. Uh, this is very important. Uh, we have about half half cup of um, dried string yeah dried string uh, washed okay and two about two tablespoons of curry powder here and um, also about one teaspoon of black pepper powder okay so let's start all right so first you prepare one hot pot of uh, oil here high heat okay and then you want to sprinkle some uh, light layer of uh, cornstarch over your uh, your crabs. Yeah, this will help to protect protect the meat. Okay. You will splatter, so you want you may want to be a bit careful. Right, so all we need to do here is to deep fry it to until it is about 80% cooked. Then we will take it out and continue cooking with the stir fry. You won't need a lot of you don't need a lot of uh, uh, you don't need a long time for this. Crab meat can get cooked very easily. Ooh. See, now we have actually locked the surface of the crab and uh, with any seafood with a shell, yeah, a hard shell, the moment you deep fry it, it will come up, it will actually produce some very nice fragrance, okay? So this is also part of the reason why you want to deep fry first. Ooh. Like I said, you want to be a bit careful, it will splatter, alright? Now very fragrant. I'm already smelling it. Ooh, nice. Okay, this one is almost done. You don't have to 100% cook. We just want to lock, uh, crispify the surface of the meat so that the juice of the meat will, will remain inside yeah use high heat yeah high heat all the way all right there you go okay you only need about two minutes okay all right we have finished deep frying the, the crack and you can start stir frying right now uh, put some oil into the cold wok and uh, slowly raising the heat right now 
first thing we need to do is we want to crispify our dried shrimp. Okay, you want to dip, uh, fry until it is crispified here. Then only we start adding in other ingredients. Okay, this is very important to really bring out the flavor of this dried shrimp. Okay, so you'll probably take about one or two minutes. So I will come back shortly. This is after about one minute plus. You can start seeing the dried shrimp is uh, getting crispified. You can turn down the heat a little bit. Okay, and we can start putting in our fresh spices. You can start with this dish with a little bit more oil, it doesn't matter because uh, in the end of the day, many of the other ingredients, especially the curry powder, is going to soak up all the uh, oil later. Okay? Ooh, extremely fragrant right now. I hope you can smell this. Then we have our dried chili, our curry leaves. A bit choking right now. Our powders. I will actually need a bit more oil right now because of the powder. You don't want to burn your powder, so always tune down your fire after you add in the powders, okay? Choking but extremely fragrant. Now we can actually add in our crab. Oops. There's three uh, flower crab now. It can be a little bit uh, too much for my uh, little wok. Turn down the fire a bit. Okay, I've turned down the fire a little bit because I cannot toss very fast and I don't want to burn my crab or my ingredient. Okay. Ooh. Remember, my, our crab is almost uh, fully cooked, so it's just a matter of uh, tossing it around. And I'm going to let me add a leaf. Let me just add some uh, saucing wine. And I'm going to add a bit of hot water later. Give it a little bit of hot water. Not too much. This is not a watery dish. Ooh, very nice. Alright, so I'm going to close uh, close the lid and let it simmer for about two minutes. Then we are done. Right? Sorry, I just realized I forgot to add the sauce 
<laughs> the flavoring. Okay, we need some oyster sauce. Okay. We also need a bit of uh, dark soy sauce. And we're going to give it some salt. Followed by sugar. Let me give it a few stir. Now this is the real gam hyung, yeah? <laughs> I forgot the oyster sauce and the dark soya sauce. So sorry about it. You should actually add in the uh, soya sauce, so uh, the, the, the dark soya sauce together with the uh, uh, oyster sauce. Um, before you add in the crab actually, huh? Alright? Alright! Now the color is correct. That's how the curry will sound like. It's not dark enough. Oh. You come coming shortly. Okay, this is after the about so two minutes simmering. Get off the fire right now. Our crab is definitely ready, okay? So I'm just going to give it a, a final round of a bit of light soya sauce. Alright, it's done. I'm going to show you how I display it. Alright, here's my Kam Hyung crab. Okay, we just... Uh, if you have salon fresh cilantro, you can put some fresh cilantro on top of it. So if you like my video, do share my video to, on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Apa Facebook fan page, you click the like and follow button. Uh, subscribe to Cooking Apa YouTube channel and follow Apa on Instagram. I hope you all like my video today. Thank you very much and enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye bye.